Yes, there is some artwork on campus, John Roethlisberger. That is the Peacemaker on the North Oval. You are really well-schooled. I'm impressed. Well, I went to school here, so that's how I know these things, I guess. The standings here at the Big 12 Gymnastics Championships. After one rotation, Missouri has the lead. That's a surprise and an early lead for the biggest underdog in the meet. Uh, we'll have to see if that can hold up. And as far as the individual all-around competition through one rotation, Ashley Cooney of Oklahoma leading the way. A uh, little bit of, su of a surprise there, though, although we knew she'd be in the mix, but there's Rochelle Simpson right on her heels. Time for the second rotation now here, and Missouri moves over to vault. Though you will be on bars. Iowa State on balance beam, and the floor exercise is Nebraska, and it will be for the Huskers, Christy Esposito leading things off as Nebraska tries to continue what it was able to do on the balance beam in the first rotation. Yeah, they had a nice start. They got the, the gauntlet, as I like to call it, out of the way, the balance beam, and they've got to be feeling good about themselves. Got some good scores under their belt, and now they're going to the floor exercise, which, uh, according to Coach Kendig, is their best event, and you're going to see some huge tumbling here. 410 sophomore from Slidell, Louisiana, Christy Esposito. We saw her compete last year, do a nice job for Nebraska, even though they uh, ended up fourth place, and I'm sure they're looking to move up this year. Nice double pike. Cito performed well as a freshman last year for Nebraska in a couple of different events, especially in the uneven bars. But here in the floor exercise, trying to hold her own as well. Second pass, another double flip, double tuck. Looks like she was working that a little in the air, but it landed it just fine. And this is a, a routine that it's important for Nebraska to get this hit out of the way, but ideally in a perfect world, they won't count her score because they have some huge tumblers coming up after her that should build on this score if everybody's hitting. But it's an added bonus for Nebraska if she can perform well in what is not necessarily her specialty. Oh, absolutely. If she can put up a 9.75 or maybe even a 9.8, the rest of the girls can kind of look at that and say, well, there's a little safety cushion for it. Good start from Nebra for Nebraska. Christy Esposito. Here's the last pass again. It's a combination pass. Front layout to a front full. A little slide on the landing, but overall very clean. Nebraska just taking care of business, going through and doing their job. Well, Iowa State trying to bounce back here in the second rotation, and this just may be the person to do it for the Cyclones is Janet Anson on balance beam. And I'll be honest, they really put themselves in a bad spot. They started off on bars, an event that they should do really well on and get a high score, and now after having those mistakes, it just compounds the pressure of going to the second event the balance beam, but if anybody can put it together, it's this girl. She is one of the top all-arounders in this competition, and she has got to be feeling the pressure right now. Front semi. Hanson, a sophomore from Kansas City, Missouri, was the Big 12 Newcomer of the Year last year as a freshman. The pop layout she's on, you could see it right away. Right when she did that back handspring, you could see she was off to the side. And once she went for that layout, it was all over. This is absolutely catastrophic for the Iowa State Cyclone. And that takes care of Janet Anson's possibility of being the all-around champion. We talked about her early before this competition started, and she just took herself instantly out of the running right there. And she's got to be careful. You can tell she's still a little tense. Any mistake here on out just compound the problem, so she's got to regroup. But she is very strong in the vault, the bars, and the floor exercise. And the balance beam was what cost her last year. She only scored a 9.25 last year in the balance beam. And she will be lucky to get that this year. She really looked tense up there. That is really unfortunate for the Cyclones. 
Let's take another look at that mistake. And I don't know if you would be able to see it from here, but she is off to that right right away, and it's it's here off. I mean, there's nothing to grab. It's over. And what's that feeling like for a gymnast? Oh, it, it, I, you know, obviously I didn't compete beam, but I can tell you what, you start falling, and it is so helpless. Critics are calling the best damn sports show a 90-minute frat party with irreverent interviews and sharp locker room banner. The best damn sports show, period. Check local listings. It's only on Fox Sports Net. All right, let's check out the Oklahoma Sooners in their home arena here. This is Ashley Cooney, the 5'4 sophomore from Plano, Texas, as here in the second rotation, Oklahoma is on the uneven bars. But she's got a great bar team, a nice release right here, called the Ginger, perfectly done, feet glued together. As a high school gymnast, she was actually coached by an American great, Kurt Tyner, before she went to OU. Got a dis difficult dismount coming up here, too. There's a blind change. Watch this double front. Perfectly wow. done. Coach Nuno is on fire again this year. Could it be a repeat? Take a look at this dismount again. Again, a frontward flipping skill like this. It's very hard to land, but you wouldn't know it by watching her. Sticks it like it's nothing. One month ago, she sprained an ankle. It was a high ankle sprain, and Ashley Cooney is back. Still more of the Big 12 Women's Gymnastics Championships from Norman in a moment.